beers and bets. Be- be- beers and bets. Beers and bets. Be- be- beers and bets. All right. That's growing on me. That one's growing on me every time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jimmy does this every time the Chiefs lose. <laughs> it's become a tradition. Uh-oh. What up, man? And no, no, no. Travis Kelsey fumble. <laughs> oh, that, was the, that was the turning point for sure. That was it. Let's, that was let's it. hold off on that one, though. I got to get to it. what's fresh oh, in my of mind. Course. We I got to talk about the bigger game of the, the week. Buccaneers so, win on guess. Monday Night Football. We have scratched and clawed our way to a 6-6 six and six record. We have finally gotten back to a 500 record. Are we the best team in the NFC? Who gives a Is shit? There, Did you're you probably not even the best I'm, team in your division. I, I can't even say that seriously. That we're bad. It? We're bad. Yeah, Tom Brady's bad. He's good. washed up. I know he came oh. back and let you me know, give him let me give him credit where credit is due. He made good throws in the last five minutes of the game. He did what but Tom Brady been, does, but he won the game. Yeah, but Jimmy, he's been dreadful. This like is coming 95% from the fan that was ready. Year. You were ready to bench him at halftime. I wanted him on the you bench. You tested so. out. He needs to be benched at he halftime. Did. He missed it. He missed like every throw. We couldn't com- we couldn't convert a third down. Who would you re- he, dude, and he did the same thing a whole game against the Browns the week before. We lost to the Cleveland Browns with Jacoby Brissett last week, and he did what he did against the Browns for the first 55 minutes against the Saints. So, like, yeah, he's been bad this year, dude. I've watched he is it. He's a winner. It's not you hard to maybe tell. Maybe his eyesight's going. He's getting old. You- That's why he's checking down all the time. Mm-hmm. I think Here's most it. of the time, I thought that's a good one, Brad. But I think most of what it is is he's just so fucking scared to have any defensive player lay a would finger you, on him that he gets you, rid of it early and just throws it in the dirt. Just throws it in the dirt like ten Russell times Wilson. a game. The hustle take Tom Brady, and that's probably the only reason you think Tom Brady's still good. No, I don't. No, 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 it might be the seven Russell rings Wilson that he won. Dude, You've had to watch Russell Wilson all year, and he's he somehow games, can be Eddie, worse. Do you know the numbers of the yeah, games but that's the Super past. Bowls that he that's won? The past, I don't Jimmy. give He's a not fuck. Not good anymore. No, no, no. When he not wins games, anymore. he wasn't great. When he won Super Bowls, he wasn't throwing 59 touchdowns a year. He was managing the Especially game the way early. Tom Brady yeah. does. And so he's created that. And that belief is in everyone, including on the defensive players, that's in their head. And on that final drive, dude, like the Rams did, they collapsed on him. They, they couldn't. Tom Brady got him, dude. And that's what he does. Check down. Fuck this. I don't even yeah. know because I turned the game off. Yeah. I don't care. But you're relying on you're game. relying on a lot of things to go your way to play that poorly for 55 minutes and then still have the Saints make like the three or four huge miscues that any one of them, if yeah, the Saints get right, like you just don't even have a chance. At the end of the game, uh, and said Mark of, uh, Ingram probably pass. should have um like fell for forward for one yard to get a first down. Yeah, I mean, instead I of didn't... stepping out of bounds, I know he's hurt, but still, yeah. like all he had to do was like fall down no, there forward was, I, hurt and step again, out of bounds. I can't you speak know? too much on it. That's why I don't really know why we're talking about a game that made a team like five and six and another one six and six, but. We can lean five on eight. it. No, oh, I mean, nine. that was the biggest blown game I've seen all year, without a doubt. There hasn't been another one okay. where a team is uh, bullshit. No, no, I saw no, a. no, no, no. I no. saw one on Sunday. No, that was the biggest blown game. Yeah, you saw you saw, with a back out. Yeah, okay. Well, you're. I the only telling thing I took away from this was two rookies had the two touchdowns at the end. I don't know if that's positive or negative because Evans and Godwin do not look like themselves anymore. Godwin's Godwin looked great last night. Godwin thirty six only... doesn't excite me. I mean, everything he catches is near the line of scrimmage or behind it almost. Three for thirty six. Is that what you said? Eight for sixty three on thirteen targets, though. Yeah, I mean that's good stats for our passing offense this year. That's just insane. <laughs> it's just insane. Yeah, but I mean, we'll we'll move on there, but. You yeah. know, Jimmy, we don't talk Broncos long, but it's like, fuck, that was Ravens almost look better with Lamar out, and that makes no sense. But no, once again, our defense showed out like we 
I mean, I get it was your bad yeah. game, but it it's frustrating as hell when you watch that. You're just like, dude, and you know, this week we well, we were on the headset, yeah, just hanging out yeah. for Red Zone. Yeah. And it's like, man, you know, I know it's coming, so now it's easy. Like now, well, it's and just, and just like, only field goals. I mean, there was one touchdown in that game. It was just. Ugly game all around. The way the game ended is like a micro wisdom. What are the fuck? My, microcosm. Microcosm. microcosm of the Broncos season, though. Oh, it's for like sure. You got there and just a <laughs> eight yards short. Like, yeah, dude, man, this is a banger. Year, though, and too. didn't you lose a lot of close ones last year? Couple. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. It's just. It, it's, yeah. It's tough. Couple. I mean, I, I think that's why you saw I mean, Denver fans booing Russ so quickly. We averaged more points with Keenum, um, <laughs> Locke, and Bridgewater last mm-hmm. year. Like all of them for the last four or five years, there's it's we've crazy. Had, we've had more points. Yeah. So it's like if the Broncos crazy. could have just scored eighteen points in every one of their dude, games, they'd we be ten have, and one. I think is the stat. And that game against but, the Ravens, um, dude, we can't. played a backup quarterback. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. And I mean, he's it's had December. starting experience, but he's not Lamar. But it's December, you know, it's, yeah. yeah. Like, dude, art, yeah, yeah. And I don't even, Jimmy, I don't even really worry about it for this year so much because it's trashed. But what I mean, this Russell Wilson guy has a two hundred fifty million dollar contract, and like, I still you're kind of stuck. You're kind of stuck for a few years. Unfortunately, I don't know, dude. He's I looked really him. bad. I, I understand. I, I don't that. watch the Broncos as much as you do. So, like, me talking to you about Russell Wilson is like you trying to talk to Brady about me. No, I can't know. talk to Brady. He doesn't ever answer the phone. Yeah. Talk but, to me about Brady. Yeah, I said that a little bit backwards. There you go. But, but talk to me with your face. I think but, Russell's looked really bad this year. I mean, I know he doesn't have, like, oh, the greatest weapons. Absolutely but to bad. do this little in every game. Like he, did, I'm telling he just you, dude, never seemed to score a touchdown. Like you yeah, almost hope they score one or two touchdowns. He's not 45. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you're right. They're going to build. Uh, it can't, dude, he's not going anywhere. No one's going to trade for dude. him, and we're not going to get the refund no. on that. And we're not going to, like, return right. on this. Like, it, 2026, this has, that's when you can get out. I know. I know. You know so it's, yeah. it's, it's bad. You got to deal with it, but it's dude again. Like I just hope our defense doesn't implode on itself and they end up trading away because I mean, really dude, we have one of the top defenses in the entire NFL and we're going to see this week, but, how they match up because the chiefs are coming off one of the greatest games, dude. Yeah. That I have watched well, in recent memory, Travis Kelsey getting ripped his face, dude. When he realized, well, why wasn't the whistle blown? Cause you're a, you think you're a badass. Yeah, Cause you probably should have went down when there was four up. guys ripping the ball yeah. from you. Yeah. Dude, you're an old man yeah. now in the yeah. grand, you, you know, the you NFL think you're here. the guy you were, dude, get fucked. They they ripped it. That was yeah. dude. That, that was so good. Well, man. like the Broncos losing, was and like, the more times they lose, like this, it, done the blueprint keep getting. I mean, the fact that P Ryan went twenty, like over a hundred yards. On I 20 told carries, you this on Sunday. Mahomes didn't right? even throw the ball thirty times because I thought no, we, that, that, Brad, that young the yeah, Bengals had I the ball. Did. It seemed like all day. Did I it not seem like that this? watching it? The Bengals had yeah. the ball all day during the Bur- game. Burrow's yeah, so cool on third down. He's like. It's cool. We can get four. No big deal. Yeah. And then yeah. boom, and extends the drive and extends Brad the drive. Brad and I and talked just... about this on, on, on a Sunday during the game. We're like, man, there is a blueprint for this team. We've talked about it on the podcast yeah. when they lost in the playoffs. That these teams that play the Chiefs are like, fuck, we know what to do against them, man. We're going to shut yeah. down Kelsey. And if they want to try to beat us with the assholes you guys brought up last week, good luck. Well, you know, There's I, agree. A formula. It, 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 I don't think a lot of teams can do it to him, but what I know it was different than the AFC championship, but the second half almost seemed like the same because just, the chiefs just could not, they came exactly to a point where they could the not same. score in the second half. I agree. You know, dude. It wasn't as big of a comeback as the AFC championship because the no. Bengals had that early lead in the first yeah. half, but the chiefs take the lead in the second half but it was like early or mid third quarter. And then the, the offense just didn't get the ball. Dude. And then that Kelsey fumble blew up the one drive. They, that was that had, they had going and that was game. 
I the got Bengals, goosebumps so I'm just thinking oh, about well, that. Like, and, and they so have because cool. they're not. I don't find that. I don't think they're like a stud defense. They're maybe a little bit above average. No, they got a solid got, D line. It they showed. Just, I think the oh, Bengals defense is pretty solid. I think I'd, it's I'd, under, I'd I think have it's them as a D-line, top ten though, defense. I, I, oh, well, maybe I'd have them know. as a top ten defense. I, I just think when you double Travis Kelsey, this team is this Kansas City team is lost. I mean, the fact that he only saw six targets, they they don't have that second weapon. I know you've wanted Juju to be in that role. He's not the guy he used to be. You know, so then they tried. I felt like they tried to. Yeah, make I didn't a see Juju from, much on Sunday. They at tried all. to make a bigger effort to run the ball. They were successful, but they didn't stick with it enough to actually beat Cincinnati. That's Andy Reid's weakness, right there. Even when they're running the ball good, like he forgets about it. Like sometimes he just like Mike March. Shit. Yeah, he gets exactly the crunch time, and he's just like, "I'm gonna throw, 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 throw." Yeah, that was so great, dude. And like they, and then they're oh man, and it. it Kelsey's face when he was looking up and the Bengals are scoring a touchdown and he's just like, okay, all right, we're going to go get one. Like we will get ours. Mm-hmm. And it's like, no, they didn't. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, no, they're on to you dickhead. And yeah. you just cost your team the game. So go admit it. You know, at least he didn't pick the flag up and throw it anymore though. That's cool. He has really good hair too, I guess. But yeah. But so awesome. I mean, I hate to take they it right back it, to dude, I hate blew. to take it right back to Tom Brady, but Don't like watching Joe some, some watching Joe way. Burrow makes me want a young quarterback so bad because of like the five or six times a game he just stands in there, shivels around in the pocket a little bit, and takes a massive hit and like throws yeah. a strike on third down. And Tom Brady just refuses to do that anymore, dude. He will before that hit comes, he will just be dumping the ball he in the dirt or away. dumping yeah. it out Probably of bounds. Because he weighs one hundred and seventy pounds. Yeah, but I mean, it's just like it, it ain't working anymore. But it ain't going to work. Do you think work. that quarterback's in the room for you? I don't know. I'd, I'd, no. I'd Let's get are the you, chapter started. That's what I'm ready for, because what are we going to do this this season? We're going to go into the playoffs right yeah, now. Yes, I was Tom up. fucking Brady. We're going to play Dallas, and Dallas is probably going to kick the shit out of us <laughs> with how bad our offense is right now. And Micah Parsons running after Tom Brady. That's what like, I was just thinking about. I mean, maybe, I was like, oh, that, maybe we get lucky and win one playoff game. Maybe, but I doubt it. I don't think we're good enough. I hate to say that. I hate to yeah, be that. I'd be shocked. Unoptimistic, but it just seems so evident that we're fucked. So yeah, but you're you're like, he got inability. us. To, I always love Tom Brady. Your for inability you. to be grateful for what you were given, like, the but it's over. But I can see that it's over, Jimmy. Okay, over. but. He, Let's get, I don't let's know. Go. Last night it looked over when they were down thirteen to three in like the end of the third quarter. But. With that defense, how are you? I don't understand how you're writing it off. I guess that. Yeah, Whatever. especially I don't in want to talk NFC. About the damn Bucks. The NFC it. isn't that dangerous. Yeah, yeah. let's move off the Bucks. One more thing. Hey, what Actually, about one more your thing. shitty Chargers? One more thing. <laughs> what about the Chargers? Thing, this isn't even really Bucks related, but it was funny, and you guys might have missed it because you weren't as locked into the game as me. But the Bucks Saints game starts last night, and um. Joe Buck goes, Tom Brady is now 45 years old. I don't know how he's still doing it. And then Aikman goes, and Aikman must have had a couple of drinks before the game because <laughs> Aikman does. goes, it just seems like he's a year older every year, Joe. It's like, oh, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. You think? Maybe he'll be <laughs> like our John Madden. Yeah, it's pretty good. Himself. It's crazy yeah. that he's a year older every year. Yeah. Like, what the fuck, <laughs> man? This is one of the things when you're while you're locked into the game and you hear it, you're like, how the hell is this guy yeah, called the game like, and saying something like that? It, like, wait, is, I, I, it didn't sound like he was joking. Halftime. Yeah. Did not sound like he was joking at all. You know Troy Aikman's voice. He doesn't joke often. Well, and they admitted they they drink, you know, yeah. before and during. And they should. I actually like Aikman and Buck. I like them calling games. Yeah. Unlike the New York fans, but. This, uh, that, that, that gave me a good laugh to myself on the couch last night when that happened this at this app, part of the game. There's this app out or something where you can like, I don't even know what it does, but you can like your your grandparents could go tell like a, their life story and then record it and put it on tape. And then th- like it I'm questions already confused. Are, yeah, questions <laughs> are asked by like Oh, uh, you talking the radio ad? You know what I'm talking about. They basically they go into a radio studio and get interviewed, and you can. It's basically so you can hear like your loved ones after they're gone. 
Yeah, okay. like once they're dead, like you can hear like their life story and their favorite memories mm-hmm. and shit. And and so, yeah. but Joe Buck comes on and goes, "I am Joe Buck. I can if I want to listen to my dad's memories now that he's gone. I can. I'm lucky. You're not. Oh, he does the commercials like, for you're it. Not, uh, yes. <laughs> he does yeah. Like, yeah, he, he does says it. I'm lucky, and it's yep. like, well, you're not. So here's what you gotta <laughs> yeah. pay yeah. if you want that opportunity. Yeah. He goes, I could go on the internet or YouTube. I'm lucky. You're not. Yeah. And it's like, well, <laughs> all right, you're just, you yeah. It. Your dad was not a famous guy. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Here's He's your opportunity a- for <laughs> sixty minutes of your loved you one your recorded. Yeah. Just you couldn't have put a cam forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> right, yeah. dude. I was like. It- that's I think I could. Fun, don't you though. think most people can just like remember the memories? Do you need the life story? I don't yeah, know if that apparently I, Joe does. I he goes on YouTube. Yeah. You know, people are always looking for an He's idea at Christmas. You know, and and a lot of people are lazy too. So I like, go, oh, that's about two hundred. All right, I won't feel bad. I'll give that to him. And you know, the like the Dude, older relatives. That is like, a punishment. I gotta go get fucking interviewed. That's now? what I'm saying. Like, that's a punishment. <laughs> that's the worst gift ever. Ago. That's yeah. a punishment, not a present. You're throwing them into the fire. You're like, all right, I gotta go and talk to yeah, by some dude. Every bag. time I hear that, I'm like, who the fuck actually does this? Who but... would do it? <laughs> every morning, somebody I'm is because like, it's paying for that ad. And the fucking yeah. thing is, they run these ads at the same damn time. See, yeah. um, when you're in the same stoplight, if you know you're on your way to like the. You know, oh, every time? morning they play oh, them at the my same God. time yeah. lock. It's at the yeah. same like break times. Yep. It's yeah. really, really cool. It's amazingly. You should listen to podcasts instead of the fucking radio, dude. No, it would solve I this get, problem. I get on the radio and then I lose trivia contests, man. Yeah. Really okay. Cool. Yeah. So you're calling in. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Let's try to yeah, get but, in there early. Dude, yeah. I won five ga- uh, Cardinal tickets to five different games through this shit how many tickets per game do they give i have no idea i was gonna I say we could just like fucking look into it, it and out and go to one <laughs> yeah just give me a single ticket <laughs> they give me <laughs> one <laughs> each <day. laughs> Yeah, I'm like, yeah, what the fuck. I don't even like. They the might. I don't know. Maybe that's how they do it. You'd think they'd at least give you two in that yeah. right field section where you'll freak out if you got to actually walk up there. I'm yeah. not going up there. <laughs> I'm gonna sell that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. what It'll, what game should we hit next? We have the 49ers Dolphins was interesting. I know it didn't stay super yeah. close, but it was interesting. Niners were on the trend up. Yeah. So I, Jimmy I, G got it. Like that that kind of sucks, man. I thought they were kind of going. I don't know. Yeah. Jimmy G's average, right? We don't know yeah, about this prop purdy guy. Maybe he he's could pretty good. Do a Tony Romo type thing and See come out of nowhere and be decent. Oh. We talked no. about that last night. He's pretty good. Purdy, he's pretty good. Brad, do uh, you, you watch any oh, Iowa State? Brock Purdy went to Iowa State, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, he had a good career there. I just the fact that San Francisco beat Miami with him. I mean, he might be an okay game manager. He's definitely doesn't have an arm to bring you back in the game. And yeah. yet, Miami almost they kind of let him because. The Miami, the team that's supposed to be just like San Francisco, right? Run the ball, have this creative run game. Ran the ball eight times in the game. Two of throws those those two of throws those two picks in the third quarter. I mean, I know it led to just field goals, but it kind of was just like that. That was the beginning of the end. It's just mm. that that Miami team is good, but San Fran's defense, I guess, opened my eyes. I didn't they're think they were real. that good. No, nah, they're good. That they're was my deep. takeaway is Miami against a great defense is just not going to get it done in the playoffs. So, like, them beating the Bills in the playoffs would surprise me very much. Yeah. Tyree did have yeah. a touchdown Them, be, them even Sunday beating though. the Jets. I, I, think I, would, been, I like been the game. Jets Well, now, the touchdown dude. he had where it's just like only he makes that play. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. He caught it in the middle, and then it's like, God, mm. only he can do that. But so that's where, when it comes down to a late game, but I don't know if their defense is quite well. There. And yeah, and they they might have, you know, because it seemed like they forced them. Like Tyreek was the offense for Miami. It seemed like like Waddle. I think had one catch in the game. Yeah, Gasecki had nothing. It just Which still pisses me off that they don't, they don't use Gasecki because I actually like him. I think he's a good receiver. You know, I think end. the Niners got out luck. I mean, because you could tell Debo was that quad, like he played and he was okay, but you could tell he didn't have like that 
next gear that he typically has when he gets open that he just yeah. turns into the freak that he is. But yeah, it really seemed like San Fran didn't need to do much and they were still up a touchdown late in the game. It's and it weird. seemed like they just didn't have to try very hard to score the points that they did. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. It was weird that they like won that game. Like the more I looked back at it, I was like, damn, that's didn't seem like they like why the fuck were, yeah. was that that easy? Like they played a pretty good team, I thought, but San Fran just has they have the best defense in the league. Well, their talent I, 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 across I think the board coach just showed too there. I, I think you know, McDonald being new. Yeah, yeah, I think it well, shows McDaniel, I mean, McDonald, same difference. McDaniel, yeah. McDonald's, yeah. He like all uh, uh Ronald is doing a good job there, but yeah, he hasn't built the team he wants yet. He's dealing with the guys that uh whatever the fuck built kind of screwed. Yeah, I mean they've over. they've cleaned a lot, but yeah, you can't fix like your lines real quick. But no, that's where the Niners just build so smart, man. Like they're built to win and they build in the right areas to win. And Lynch has been really good at that. And it's pretty crazy. Yep, he's been. Yeah. Yeah. And except for, except for the Trey Lance trade, which, you know, was, we didn't really get to see whether it was a good idea or not because Trey Lance gets hurt. Yeah. Because look at fields. It seemed right like now. a bad trade. Up we were all the, down on fields though. Back. And if you put fields on the Niners, like we were all hating on fields last year, like at the end of last year too. And if you look back at that now, like, we kind of looked at them like the same, or I did. Like, I didn't think in either one was that much better. And if you put Fields on the Niners right now, that team is a fucking – I mean, that's a crazy good team right there. Yeah, I think. Pro- probably. So, yeah. Well, it makes them more – just more dangerous. Another more threat dynamic, to run it definitely. for 30, 40 yards. Yeah. Yeah, but you can – yeah. Yeah, he has the most rushing yards, by the way. That's what I was told on radio. Apparently. Allegedly. What else do we got? The the other good one I, I thought, thought was um that Jets Vikings game, which the Jets really I was hoping so bad they would pull that out. It seemed like they they had the Vikings right where they wanted them, and they just they would get to the one yard line and just not be able to find a way to score. It happened two times. One, they finally got in with a QB sneak that was challenged, but then when they needed it for the game winning touchdown, they get you know, third and one, third and goal from the one, fourth and goal from the one, and they throw it twice because it was so fucking hard for them to quarterback sneak it in the first time. Barbarian so, had it. So it just, damn, they had them on the ropes and the Vikings escape again. They've been doing the it all year. The Barbarian has to catch that ball. Barrios. Yeah. Him? Yeah. Yes. Bradley, he he should have caught that ball. Dude, that is a three step. Well, does anybody even give a quick Zach Wilson pass, another look? Dive down and you get it right. I'll take him on the uh we'll take two uh Wilsons, by the way. If you yeah, let the Broncos give uh Zach but, Wilson uh, a try for sure. Hey, and the Rams you heard got no sense. Uh you Baker. hear the Rams got yeah. But um yeah, but Baker, dude, he's that, bounced around a lot. Jeez. On that offense, that's kind of a scary. I don't know, like not on that offense, because the offense is shit right now. I mean, with that coordinator, though, who knows what that little fucker could. But, I don't dude, know, man. Baker is one of those guys that. Right. Well, if maybe if the Rams catch. run the ball, if the Rams find another Todd Gurley and run the ball like they did the Jared Goff year, then maybe that's why Baker makes sense. But that's hard yeah. to have that good of a running game. And the Rams have kind of given away all it's their. It's a little hard. Yeah. And they have a shitty offensive line. So, how They're do you fucked. build? How do you build like one yeah. of the top offensive lines? Yeah. You're, like I mean, so yeah. in the shithole. They yeah. got their. They got this their is trophy. Why no, no other teams say fuck them. Pits. Like me, they got it's their that, trophy. You know what I mean? You're, but you're, you're yeah. gonna hit a dead end and drop off. That's, you're gonna either. What would you guys rather? Do you want to give up the picks, win the Super Bowl, not win a Super Bowl for ten years, and? And build through the draft. It, it depends how many years like, you're not like, you want to go to the playoffs for 10 years in a row and not get a championship, or would you rather win the soup like win the championship? I think oh. 10 years you take a championship. Yeah. Just I, the money you're gonna make. It worked out for it, the Rams, you know? but now it's their time to pay for it, is what I'd they say. They will, yeah, yeah. I think I would trade what they did for a Super Bowl, though. 
I mm-hmm. would do. I think I like would. With the Red Sox, I mean, we won four in 16 years, and we did shitty every year yeah. we don't win. So it's like, man, it, I'll take the year, you know. Because like you're saying, maybe you build through the draft, and you suck for two or three years, and then you make the playoffs like the next six out of eight years, but you win zero Super Bowls. And so, like, where did you really get? Like, if you right. just you got a lot a of talent, team, but yeah, you didn't, right. Where that's did how you, you really sell get? tickets. That's where GMs, yeah. I think, like sell it on. Like, well, people are coming to watch, and it's like we're competitive, and it's like, yeah, but. Fuck it. I'd rather win one. Yeah, give me one win. just like end of the yeah. season where our yeah. fans feel great. That is a fan. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. You want right. the championships. Yeah. Like one. Yeah. I got a 10. Oh, yeah. 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 You're not going to. Yeah. But and that's why I keep saying we get rid of Brady now. We trade him for a I'll take sixth him. round pick. Hey, send him to Denver, please. And then dude. we just oh start the next God. chapter now because oh we're not God. winning another Super Bowl with Tom Brady. You want That's us? where it's dangerous, though. There's no guarantee. You know, you could try to go all in and not, I mean, especially with the NFL, as big of a crapshoot as it is, with but injuries that, and anything, it's just because, especially yeah. in the Rams, think about it like Les Sneed's probably not going to hang around, McVay's not going to hang around for the rebuild. Dude, they mm-hmm. gotta, you you they literally gotta, have to rebuild your entire team, front gotta, office included. Yeah, because <laughs> Les Need. Imagine if Les Need just resigns. In the just like I'm out. I traded our picks for the next fucking three Dude. years. All of our first rounders. We won a Super Bowl. My job was done here. I'm see you later, guys. You're welcome. Hey y'all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, but the guy that plays him in Ballers is so perfect. That's the guy, yeah. like the the combo. And he's been, oh, a, yeah. he was like, he's an actor that I know from like Lost. He's creepy. Weird he's got like yeah. Yeah. plastic. He's a weird dude. Yeah. Yeah. His so face perfect. is like frozen in this. Yeah. He's like, mm-hmm. get yourself a nice suit, Charles. You know, he's like telling him to yeah. like dress better. He's wearing like a sweater. Yeah, he looks. And he did, <laughs> yeah. That's classic. What game? Yeah. We had to admit, oh, Brad, you mentioned my Chargers. We, yeah, I, you, you just love those six and six teams, Dude, don't you? But don't my you feel charge. don't you feel bad for Justin Herbert? Do you feel the same? Not at like, all. So, like just empathy, sympathy, both for Justin Herbert making some of those good. like fourth and twelve throws. Dude, Justin Herbert is fucking incredible. The rest of that team just they cannot do anything to help his ass out. The defense is, you know, bottom ten in the league. Without even looking at the stats, I can tell you that. And then, you know, without Mike Williams, it sucks, but he still has Keenan Allen. Austin Eckler has another, like, crucial fumble at the end of the game. He's yeah. on my fantasy team, so it hurts me in two places at once. And But Justin Herbert just makes incredible throws, like, Bring all day long. Fucking football again. Like, that fourth and 12 it, it, throw, that 40-yard no touchdown he, he had is, to Keenan though, that, Allen. That Chargers team is never going to succeed. They have given massive contracts to a safety gave. and Mac. Mm-hmm. And their defense I mean, sucks. They invest, right. Dur- they invested Derwin in James the defense and they yeah. have a defensive coach and their defense sucks. You know, it's they, they spent a lot of money on Mike coach. Williams. Mike Williams never, never stays healthy. He finally had a good mm-hmm. year last year. Got a decent amount of touchdowns. Got paid. Yeah, it was a bad yeah. Keenan Allen never stays healthy. Eckler is not a f- three down back. He's, he's a, Pass catching specialist. That's a Eckler's runner. been pretty good this year. Like, yeah, I, I, the fumble was tough. It's one of the biggest reasons they lost. The fumble's the tough. It's just it's tough when you're starting running back. You really don't want to give him the ball, like on a handoff, on f- more than twelve to fourteen times. That you start worrying about him getting. But hurt. I think like, they could. I think they could. See, they just you don't. don't see them. They don't yeah. trust him, and they know him better than we do. But you never see him just have like a like yeah. Josh Jacobs just towed it twenty six times. I think they should. I think Eckler should get 16 to 18 carries a game. Yeah, they talk he about he's the strongest running back in the league. Prove it. Yeah, he's a big weightlifter, dude. There's a reason up. the Steelers gave up on him, man. The Steelers gave up on who? Wasn't he with the Steelers? Eckler was never with the Steelers, no. Am I wrong on that? Am I Chargers drafted him. Oh, well, I'm an idiot. All right. So you're thinking of uh Connor, James Connor for the oh, Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. I mean, I get the similarity, yeah. Because <clears throat> big touchdown bad. guys last year, but yeah. No, it, but no, yeah. it's Austin Eckler's always been a charger. No, it just yeah. sucks, man, because Herbert really does impress me. Like him and Burrow, 
They're going to they be have, the best two quarterbacks in the league like five they, years from now. Did they have Mahomes will be Jordan there. Mahomes will still be there had, too. Then when they had Eckler, then yeah, like he was. They were like both there at the same time. To, second yep. fatal to somebody, and then all right, that, I'm yep. like, I don't want to look at that mm-hmm. idiot. So I, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's, that's well, and that's when the split made sense. Melvin was kind of early down, yeah, uh, right. Third, and yeah, no, and I think now he can take a hike. Unless the Chargers go on some big run here, and I've, I have looked at their schedule. Their schedule isn't easy. They play the Dolphins next Sunday night, and then they're you know the game. They don't have easy games laid out in front of them. But if they don't go on a run and make the playoffs in their third year with Justin Herbert, Staley has to go. They got to get a new coach in there because if if you have a a coach who was a past defensive coordinator and you spend all this money on your defense and Darwin James, Khalil Mack, um, they signed another edge rusher too last se- season or a D, or a D tackle. They spent a bun- bunch of money on the yeah. defense last year and it's not good. You got to make a change. Give Herbert, get Sean Payton into fucking Los Angeles with Justin Herbert and watch that team just Denver. fucking dominate for years. Come like, to watch Denver. him, watch Herbert just own the homes for years with Sean Payton coaching. You don't want That's to what happen. Ownership. That ownership is a nightmare, man. Yeah, why did why can't they go back to San Diego, man? It sounds better. <laughs> it was more fun. They actually had a home a field advantage. San, San Diego. Diego. Which in, of course, German means a whale's vagina. A whale's vagina. <laughs> no, there's no way that's correct. Scholar yeah. maintained it was I, lost in translation. Translation was ago. lost years ago. No, I think it's San yeah. Diego. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. I agree to disagree. There's no way that's correct. <laughs> agree to disagree. <laughs> like, wait, what? Uh, that sounds too good to be true. Here's yeah. the anger, man. Yeah, that, oh, fuck. Let me go through. When let me Ro- run through the list. In what, Rome, uh, Jimmy, <laughs> do as the Roman <laughs> do as the Romans do. <laughs> that please, no. she, she she says when in Rome, but he goes, please go ahead, like continue. Yeah. <laughs> no, what's the problem? Just, <laughs> that's just a saying that people use. And what does no. he? What situation does he Pretty try to use it later no, then on? He's like, no, they <laughs> they end up, they end up banging, and they're like laying next to each other, and she's like. But I don't want anyone to know about this at work. And he's like, of course. Discretion or discretion is the name of the game. Yeah. When in Rome. Or something like that. And, or yeah, discretion. I don't remember what he follows up with it. Yeah, this yeah, the, when in Rome. And she's like, No, it doesn't really apply. And he's like, Oh, it's all good. I don't I still don't really know what it means. <laughs> it's just like it's such a good line, man. So yeah, when I guess- in Rome. Last few minutes we got just like firing sh- shit away. Who gets this last playoff spot in the AFC? Because you got the you got the Jets, the Patriots, and the Chargers that all are within a game of each other, and one of those teams is going to have to bow out. It's going to have to be, yeah, Jets, Patriots, or Chargers. Yeah, it's easy for me. I I'm in the same boat, man. As much as it pains me to say that, being a Justin Herbert lover, but I, I like, like what I've Chargers. seen from that Jets defense. I like the Chargers. I hope so, man. I hope the Chargers win like three in a row. I think the Jets are like right there, dude. I like them a lot, but um, I think they're like one. I think they're a little, but I could be way off on that. I think and that like Mike White off. run could just fall off a cliff, and he yeah, could like be well, terrible. he kind of did last yeah. week, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, with like, two two. I picks. thought he was all right against. He the looked Vikings. okay though. He, he yeah, hit over three hundred, and yeah. yeah, I just he, he looked better than Deshaun Watson this past week. Oh my god! Yeah, that was tough too because I picked the Browns in the Survivor. Pool, yeah, you know, you yeah. play the Browns I was, defense. Sure. I was nervous because um. Everything well, (laughs) there was. I think the I think it was five to three, or maybe it was seven. Maybe the Browns had taken the lead seven to five or something. It was a weird scoring game, it's hard to remember. But Deshaun had a a ball, Deshaun had a ball come out of his hand, and it looked like the Texans picked it up and ran it back for a touchdown. And it was it was reversed, it ended up not being a fumble, yeah, that was returned for a touchdown. But it would have been like you know, 12 to seven. Texans towards halftime 
I was sweating that one out in the first half. Oh, dude, I, that one was really tight. I looked yeah. up who you because I hadn't talked to you, so I wanted to know who you took in that. So I looked up and I saw a few other people were going with them as well. So I was like, man, that would be Something. that's a tough that's yeah. a tough one though because I the Texans. I think I told you that in the last week's podcast. Yeah, I was not a hundred percent confident. It just well, seemed well, like the safest. Yeah, pick. and the well, Texans like beat-, beat me. Like they knocked me out last year in that same pick them. So it's like, God damn, if they do it two years in there, I think it would be three now for me. The yeah. Texans, the well, team I picked is beat. The Texans have beaten them. I'm going against the Texans again next week. They play the Cowboys and the Cowboys will be my pick. <laughs> the Texans look week. good at one early this year. It was like, okay, maybe they're not terrible. I mean, to lose. Why the did they bench Davis play, Mills? And you don't even give up an offensive touchdown in that game. No, yeah. they gave up like, <laughs> another team yeah. scores 27 points or something like two, <laughs> two defensive touchdowns inside your own 20 and a punt return. Yeah. It's just <laughs> fantastic. Texans. Lovey Smith. Yeah, fuck you. Rex. How much longer yeah. does he have? I'm like, Hey, all right. Now I'm getting sick of Matt thinking he knows this shit. So goddamn <laughs> well, man, it's been a while. I'm about to take home that five hundo though. For yeah, that I know, man. Everybody else has already picked the Cowboys. I went and checked it. So everybody else can't pick against the Texans next week, and I can't. Oh, I can't. So maybe ne- next week could be it, dude. I could wrap it up next week. Yo, but if the Texans do the, they, yeah. there's no way they, they beat the Cowboys. Dude, not a chance, dude. Look what Allen. year we're looking at. My fantasy football team is 2-58, and 58, whatever the fuck. Are you mathematically eliminated from the playoffs? I've been since October. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cheers. Since October, right. <laughs> let's take five. Come I'd rather on. lose now <laughs> than do what I did to you in the playoffs last year, Dick. Yeah, we'll have a chance Why don't you this go year. And tell you? everyone about that. I don't need to. I'll lose now, man. Make sure you're out of there in the. I want to give you guys a chance to win something. Two years in a row, it's just getting yeah. old. 